Hey Libras, welcome to Tarot and Heal. Welcome to the place where we tarot and heal our way of self-love and unity consciousness. Libra, this is for May, the second half of May. Um, feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment. If you want a personal reading, check out the info box below. All right, cool. Let's get started. I come to you, humbly God, thanking you for your divine guidance, providing messages of divine light, divine love, in accordance with divine will. What is it that the Libra Collective needs to know for the second half of May? What is the overall energy? Thank you. All right, we have Rejuvenate coming out. We had a bunch of these cards coming out. I don't even know if I should pull it. Pull it. Okay. Reevaluate your priorities. Make no judgments. Change tracks and correct your mistakes. Holy shit. Um, so we have to reevaluate your priorities. We have changed tracks and we have corrected mistakes coming out. These are definitely cards of course correction. Okay. It's like, Oh, made a wrong turn there. Let me make that other turn. Okay. Um, now with the higher priestess coming out here, I do feel like it was at the bottom of the deck. I do feel like there's, um, there's a course correction of a, um, a belief system or, um, something like that here. Um, now, I did do the weekly reading, and it does talk about new information coming out, all right? I feel like this new information can make someone realize, like, oh, okay, let me make that decision over there. Um, you are being led to make no judgments, all right? Don't judge yourself for making. If you feel like you made the wrong decision, and you have to switch gears, like, just, just do it, okay? Flow with it. Um, that's what, that's. I don't know. That's the energy that I'm feeling here. Like, don't be so hard on yourself, okay? Because it does lead to this, rejuvenation. So it's like, why drag yourself through the mud to go to the spa? I don't know, whatever. You're going to the spa day, okay? So don't guilt yourself and don't be all shitty about it to yourself because you want to go and feel good. There we go. All right. Look at that. Focus on success. All right. Oh, wow. Make necessary sacrifices coming out here. There's a need to focus on what it is that you want, what makes you happy. Don't make yourself feel guilty for it. It does seem like there's a sacrifice that comes out of that. All right. Now, the Five of Swords is here at the bottom of the deck with this Ten of Cups. Okay. The Justice card. All right. Let's just get into the reading. Two of Cups. All right. See, something might be coming out about the situation, about... um. Something that felt like it was in alignment. Okay, this five of swords definitely want to be seen. Let's look into that five of swords. I feel like that's what's hitting, hidden here. And it leads to a choice here. So this could be a belief system within yourself or it could be the realization of someone's true ways. Um, I'm hearing errors, hearing their, like recognizing the, the flaw, oh. Probably recognizing the flaws in someone, like there are probably some deep character flaws. Um, we have the Emperor in reverse, we do have the Five of Swords in reverse and the Two of Swords. It does lead to that decision making. It's like, I thought you were an Emperor, but you're not. Hmm, interesting. How was that hidden from me, you know? All right. It's like, I thought you can give me this Ten of Cups, but you can't. Holy shit. How did I miss that one? All right, well, I guess it's time to change tracks here um it's time to do what's best for me don't judge yourself it does seem like this was hidden for a reason there were some lessons here there was a reason why you were supposed to go through the situation with this person um but just don't stay there for too long now if this once this new information comes about you handle it accordingly okay but it does seem like there's a little bit of a pause like oh okay what do i do next you change tracks you correct your mistakes. You reassess. You reevaluate. Okay, if this person can't give me this, what do I do now? Do I stick it out? If this job isn't giving me the, if this job I thought it had uh, potential for growth, upward mobility, and I realize now it's a dead end job, what do I do? If I thought that this relationship was actually going to go somewhere, and now I'm realizing, oh. Uh, we're not gonna last. What do I do? All right. What else we got going on here, okay, Libras?
the Knight of Pentacles. Um, yeah, see, I feel like there's going to be a bit of a pause state here with this Two of Swords. I don't feel like there's like a, the realization of that. And then it's like, okay, well, let me just switch gears. It's definitely not that easy, especially if you invested in a situation, put time into the situation, you're going to want to put some thought into it. But it does seem like, okay, take your time. But hurry up, you know, don't dwell on this. I feel like there can be an inclination to do so. Especially being air energy, you want to be all logical, weigh out the pros and cons and all that. And then with this Knight of Pentacles, it's like, it's okay to take your time and make this decision. Take your time and reevaluate, you know, really reassess. Okay, this is what they can give me. Can, is this a deal breaker? Can I, do I want more? Would I be settling? If I'm settling, am I okay with settling? You know, it's those things, okay? Taking time out to figure that one out. Also taking time to, if you if you do decide to move on, to mourn that. Like, wow, okay. That was a, that was a, a bit of a mistake there, okay? Um, It does bring this energy of a new bright day, though. Bright, sunshi sunshiny day. All right, so that's good. Someone might be realizing that um, the opportunities that was passed up because they thought, because they didn't take this job, they didn't take on these job opportunities that were coming their way that were better because they thought that this job that they were at was going to be promising if they put in more work. Right. And now the realization of, oh, it's a dead end. I've been putting all this work into a dead end. Then it's looking like, oh, my God, those opportunities. I kind of let those go by. So that four of cups is coming out here like that. Take your time to mourn that. OK, just the whole situation in general. You didn't have all the knowledge. You didn't have all the pieces of the puzzle. Certain things were hidden from you because there was some lessons to learn in this situation. There were some uh, skills to learn in this job. That's why you're meant to put in all that effort. OK, maybe the lesson was to learn how to put an in effort into something. OK, but now it's like, OK, now that you've learned the lesson, the lesson is wrapping up. All right. And now you're being led to see the truth of what you were working towards. And it's like. That's tough. OK, anyway, with the three of swords here um, coming out in reverse, like I, I do. I don't feel like someone's going to be down for that long. I really don't. Like it has the energy of like walking to a very relaxing spa, you know? And when you get there, once you get in the jacuzzi, you're not gonna think about all the BS that you had to deal with on that train ride there, for example, like, right? It's like you're lugging all of the towels and all that. And it was like all types of crappy people. The train was all busy and people doing all this extra stuff on the train and it was it was unpleasant but once you get there and you sit in that jacuzzi you're like okay i'm good you know that's what i feel like is gonna happen if they allow it to happen yeah see but the six of swords and the three of swords here see but they could get caught up that's the thing if you never get on that train and go to the spa, you know, then you'll never know what that is, what that, that rejuvenation feels like, you know? But with the Three of Swords and the Six of Swords coming out, it's like the Six of Swords is about walking away, right? Going to something smoother, calmer, peaceful, <sighs> jacuzzi energy, right? It's like you're going to that, it's gonna eliminate that heartbreak pretty quickly, okay? Because the further you get away from your previous uh, location, you go from your previous location where this heartbreak is or where this decision is, and you go to the spa, the further you get away from it, the longer that train ride, you go to the other side. Now you can, you can understand like, oh, that energy was way rougher than this energy. Like, 
it's, it's that type of energy. You're gonna realize what calmer waters feel like when you do that. It's gonna alleviate a lot of that heartbreak. Someone is probably in this situation. They're already feeling, they're in this kind of, it's some type of energy that it, it already feels a bit uncomfortable. It's rough. It's not calmer waters. It's not jacuzzi energy, all right? It's not calm. It's not cool. It's not, it's not. But it's there. Okay. It's because that's what they've known. They've never sat in a jacuzzi before. So because they never sat in a jacuzzi, they don't, they don't understand the concept of what that feels like. If we're going to talk about love, it's like if you don't understand what that type of calm, warm love feels like, if you've never experienced it, then you're not, you don't know what you're walking into and you don't know what you're missing out on. All right. But it's like once they realize that, <sighs> Once they realize that rejuvenation, but that comes out of wanting more. Yeah, look at that star card, Wheel of Fortune, Hierophant. Holy cow! Whoa, the weightest card. See, wow, the Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck, and the Six of Swords. Wow, Page of Cups. This is a, yeah, this is a new level of love. Okay commitment a new level of commitment so we have the star card coming out in a purse whoever this is they have to decide that they want more if they don't decide that they want more and they're just going to stay in where they're at then they'll never feel that level of warmth right um they'll never get this the will of fortune that upgraded that new level of commitment that new level of love that they didn't know what was pop they didn't know was possible okay you do that hierophant it, some of you guys, this thing, that spa energy, that jacuzzi, warm, toasty love, that is a long-term situation that you're walking into. And the situation that you're walking away from prepped you for this. Eight of, eight of wands coming out, which is moving forward, getting the pressure from the universe. Like, hop on that train and go to the spa. There's something there for you. There's something called a jacuzzi. I know you never heard of it, but you're going to fucking love it. <laughs> this is being pushed by the universe, okay, to get this upgrade. Yeah, all right. The six of wands. This is like the victory, the win, all right? Just don't get stuck in your head. That's a possibility. Six of Cups with the Four of Wands coming out in a verse, okay? The Six of Cups, that history. This is what I've known. I don't know this new age. What is this new technology you, you, you hipsters or you kids are talking about nowadays? What is a jacuzzi, you know? I mean, I know they had jacuzzis back in the days, but you get what I'm saying, all right? It's like I've never heard of this. Okay, so I don't know what you're talking about, but I got something right here that feel like what I know love to be. All right. I got my bathtub. I'm good. Or I got my pot, my hot pot of water. I'm good, you know. But it's something about holding on to the history. Somebody's going to probably get stuck in their head about that with the Four of Swords. It does seem like there's going to be a little bit of a break. This Two of Swords before it becomes the breakthrough. The breakthrough needs to happen, but I feel like that's going to be a slow process. More levels of understanding need to come through. More knowledge and more data needs to come through, I feel. I feel like the data is going to come through in waves where someone's realizing like, huh, that's not looking like Ten of Cups. Hmm. And then they might realize like, okay, what I actually want for a Ten of Cups is not here. Okay, um, that realization is probably just going to be, because when we have these epiphanies, they don't always come through like, boom, this is a whole truth. A lot of times it comes through in like waves, you know, it's like a, a little veil being pulled away, veils of truth being shown. Um, so yeah, that's just going to be a process for whoever that is. All right, <clears throat> what is a blockage?
what are they failing to see and the overall advice. Okay, not bad. I'm trying to make these readings a little bit shorter. All right, what's a blockage? <sighs> so I shuffled the animal spirit deck already. I know your worth is coming out. I feel like that's what it has to do with. It's like I'm good. I don't. I don't need more. I don't need to be in a whole extravagant jacuzzi. I, I do the same thing over here with my hot little pot. You know, my hot tub or whatever. I'm thinking about those tin tubs that they used to use back in the 20s. I'm throwing out numbers, but you get what I'm saying. They had to heat it in the oven or, or the furnace. It's like, I'm cool with that. That works. I'm good. <sighs> What's the blockage? All right, so the Ten of Wands coming out with the double card is more than just oh, upgrade to from the tub and the tin cup tub in the kitchen to the jacuzzi. It's because it's better technology, it's more than that. It's more so like what you're in is struggle mode and is not giving you what you want because the double card is it's a little bit toxic um with the ten of wands it's a bit of a struggle okay and it's carrying a lot of burdens you can go to calmer waters where the love could feel smoother or the job can feel smoother or your tub your bath can be smoother whatever the case is all right but it's something it's like you're that that's what needs to be revealed i don't feel like somebody sees like that it's a little bit toxic okay someone's looking at like okay this is mine this is what i'm doing this is what i'm used to um and it, it does feel like a little bit of settling like like sure, there's there's a jacuzzi there. It's like it's a knowledge of that. Like, yeah, there's something that might be better out there, but I'm used to this, so I'm fine. Yeah. Like, okay, this is okay. It's a burdens and it's it's tough and it's a uh, toxic, but this is my toxic. Okay, these are my baggages. This is my baggage, or this is our baggage, you know? Like, it's acceptance of that. But someone needs to kind of know their worth and know that they deserve to experience more. All right. All right, what are they feeling to see? The love, yeah. Um, the lovers card and the death card coming out. The two of cups came out in reverse as well. Um, it was a soul tie, and it does seem like it's broken. Okay, the love is card in a verse and the death card in a verse. Someone's holding on to something. It's like, okay. it's like nobody's using a tub in the middle of the kitchen anymore and heating up water in a furnace. Like nobody's doing that. Why are you still choosing to do that? You know, why are you still cho choosing to hold on? Why are you still choosing to hold on to the old thing? when it's just no longer working and there's an easier way to go about it. Do you want things to be harder? You know that it's a struggle. You know that it's a struggle and you're like, yeah, but it's just what I'm used to. Why would you stick with that? I don't know if somebody, it's like, it really feels like a time capsule type of energy. like. Does this person even realize that there is, I don't know, that, that there is a jacuzzi out there? I don't know. It does feel like they, they realize that, but they're just like, I don't know. It's weird. 
it's like I know the world is moving on with technology and I'm just gonna stay here and decide not to um, Hmm. What's the advice? I know my watch doesn't work, but I had this watch for a long time. So I'm just gonna keep using this broken watch. Even though it doesn't tell time anymore, it's not doing the things that I needed to do. It's just holding on to for for history of sentimental value, but this but then still trying to make it work, still trying to act like, all right. So you're trying to work around this clock now. You know that your clock is has like a five hour lag. So now instead of like, okay, let me get this clock fixed or let me get a new clock, new watch. You're like, okay, you're trying to work around the dysfunction. Like, okay, five hour lag. So if it's saying it's 10 o'clock now, all right, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so that means it's five. Oh, okay, cool. When you could just get a new watch and you could just look at the time and see what it is, right? It's like working around it just so that you don't lose it. How much are you going to bend and stretch? All right, what's that voice? Yeah, something ain't right here. Justice card. Someone's bending and stretching. Uh-uh. Trying to work around this dysfunction or this brokenness. It's a broken connection. And with the death card, it's like, it's a new beginning coming through. The ending is coming. Like, it does seem like it's a slow ending, but it's happening. Things are gonna be made right, okay? The universe is out here like, look, we gonna, we gonna balance this thing out. Because if this is a relationship with two people and it's already a broken connection and nobody wants to say goodbye, nobody wants to be the first to say goodbye, you guys are both holding up your own next steps for each other. So the universe is gonna come through like, hey, all right? I don't care about y'all feelings, okay? But you got to go that way. You got to meet that person. You got some things to do over there. You got to go over there. You got other things to do over there, okay? You need to learn what a jacuzzi is. Actually, both parties need to learn what a jacuzzi is. It needs to be evened out. Something needs to be made right. This is a cosmic course correction, all right? So now I'm wondering, you know, I feel like somebody's going to get a choice to change tracks and course correct. I mentioned course correcting in the beginning of the reading, but I feel like if this person sits on this for too long, the universe is going to come through and course correct it. Okay, and that's where that's where tower moments come in. I don't feel like the tower moment is happening yet. The tower moment might be the realization. Right now, it's like being eased into this. You know, like, hey, take a look at this. Hey, don't you want that? You might see something on social media that'll trigger your desires and you're like, oh, I don't have that here. I've always wanted this type of thing and I don't have that here. You know, and I'll start slowly pulling the veil back in what you're actually experiencing versus what you actually want. And then if you decide to just sit on that decision, that's when the time moment comes in, all right? So we have that five of pentacles coming out. It does feel like there is, you know, like I said, that, that loss or whatever. With the world card, um, the loss leads to a whole new world. Okay, with the world card here. It leads to a whole new world. It's like, damn, all this time I was fucking bathing in the tub in, in the middle of the kitchen. I ain't know about this jacuzzi. You know what I'm saying? And then you won't be able to go back because you're going to realize how you've been depriving yourself. <sighs> it's also going to show you how worthy you are, that you do deserve better. You do deserve to enjoy the luxury. You do deserve a calmer love or whatever. You deserve to have a jacuzzi. All right, go and get that. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we have here for the um, atmosphere. 
see someone might be holding on to something and and um they somehow they just looked at it like okay well this is just what i'm used to uh the history because the history is definitely playing out here it's sentimental value whatever it's really the fact that this person doesn't believe that they can have more than what they actually have. Even though they see the struggle, they see that it's a burden, they see that they're not getting what they deserve, but they don't think that they deserve more. <sighs> I know that's right. Look at that. Let's take a close look at that one. Panther spirit, reclaim your power. Know your worth. Know that you deserve more somebody in the zoo you know what i'm saying in the, they're a tiger in the zoo and they forgetting that they're a tiger they sitting there moving around like a house cat come on now you are a wild cat go ahead and get what you want take what's yours own it you deserve whatever you want in this world look at that pirate spirit because you have the power to create this is a card of manifestations. You can have whatever you want, so stop settling. Because all you're doing is giving your power away. Come on now. Come on now. We ain't doing this. Reevaluate reevaluate your priorities. Like you're putting someone else's like. See, it's time for a deep dive here. Yeah, swan spirit. Reevaluate your priorities. Wild dragonfly spirit. Truth transcends illusion. That's right. You're going to see, like, is certain things I was hitting in the relationship where you had to, you ha it had to be hidden from you. But it's going to come to light, like, okay, this person is not, they're not going to give you what you want. So what do you want to do next? Um, you're going to have to do a deep dive, do some soul searching, and reevaluate your priorities and figure it out, figure out what's more important. The history or your happiness for the rest of your life. All right. That's going to give you more strength to make decisions in other aspects of your life outside of this. All right. What is the, uh, what did the romance name just have to say? True love. See? That's what I feel. Stay optimistic about your love life. Somebody's moving to the thing, like that jacuzzi energy, that is a long-term situation, okay? Whether it, this person is already, this, this relationship is already lingering around or not, whether this person knows the person or not, it doesn't matter. It's that energy that they're leaving this energy, this relationship, this whatever, to go to something that's going to give them long-term potential. Someone is looking at it like, I can't, I'm, I'm probably not going to find someone else or stay optimistic about your love life. Also, stay optimistic about what you deserve, you know, what you're worth, what you have to offer. All right. This is what somebody's being led to this. But because they don't know what this looks like or what it feels like, they're just like, well, I mean, I'm experiencing love. It's like, no, you're experiencing something else. I don't know what that is. Okay. It was like, it was a soul. It probably was a soul tie. I'm not saying that there isn't love here, obviously. There, it probably was a soul tie. Um, but it's like, see, that's the time. It's something about the time. This could be a connection that someone outgrew. Okay. That probably both people outgrew each other. Um, and it's time to move on. One more. You're gonna have to trust it. We have chemistry coming out here. You're gonna have to trust it. The passion, see. Oh. Wow, this could be the one. <laughs> what the heck? Somebody is being led to the real deal, okay? Someone needs to be optimistic and they need to have faith. Trust that they are being pushed because with that eight of wands and a high priestess, there's some divine stuff happening here. Okay, there's some divine work at play. Someone's being pushed to go check out a jacuzzi. All right, 
with the chemistry card, I feel like it won't be any denying. As I mentioned, once they sit in that jacuzzi, they enjoy that. They can't go back to the whatever they were enjoying before. All right. It might be something about passion. They they might they might be in a situation that's a lacking passion, you know, and then they find something like, oh, this is what passion feels like. You know, this is what chemistry feels like. This is what a soul tie really feels like. You know, whatever the case is. It's something like that. Once they experience it, they can't go back. All right? Anyway. All right, now. When it comes down to it, when this truth comes out, you have a choice to reclaim your power. All right? And to, desi to, to decide that you are worth it. You deserve it. Go and get it. Like this hungry cat right here. This hungry wild cat. Go and get it. Alright. Also, you can manifest whatever you want. So, if you are tapped into your guides, start talking to them. You know? Ask them for help as to how to navigate this situation in the clearest and most elegant way possible for you. Um, and for everyone's highest good. Alright? Alright. You guys got it, I'm sure. Let me know what you think. Feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment, add me on IG, Tara Hill. If you want a personal reading, check out the info box below. If you want to be a Patreon, a patron, check out the Patreon link below. And until we meet again, peace.